He had been full of the idea so long, de dreamed it right through the, to the, and waited with his teeth set, so to speak, at an inconceivable pitch of intensity. Now, in the reaction, he was running down like an overwound clock. Recovering himself in a minute, he opened for us two hulking patent cabinets, which held his mass suits and dressing gowns and ties, and his shirts, piled like bricks and stacks a dozen high. I've got a man in England who buys me clothes. He sends over a selection of things at the beginning of each season, spring and fall. He took out a pile of shirts and began throwing them, one by one before us, shirts of sheer linen and thick silk and fine flannel, which lost their folds as they fell and covered the table in many colored disarray. While we admired, he brought more and the soft, rich heap mounted higher, shirts with stripes and scrolls and plaids and coral and apple green and lavender and faint orange. With monograms of Indian blue, suddenly, with strange sound, Daisy bent her head into the shirts and began to cry stormily. They're such beautiful shirts, she sobbed, her voice muffled in the thick folds. It makes me sad because I have never seen such, such beautiful shirts before. After the house, we were to see the grounds and the swimming pool and the hydroplane and the midsummer flowers. But outside Gatsby's window, it began to rain again. So we stood in a row looking at the corrugated surface of the sound. If it wasn't for the mist, we could see your home across the bay, said Gatsby. You always have a green light that burns all night at the end of your dock. 